Tour 904, what is up? Today is an exciting day. I've been trying to bring this video to you for about a month now, uh, but I've just been able to get the, the kinks and the bugs out. Um, so from the very get-go, air condition was always kind of a concern because I live here in Florida and it's hot. Uh, but on the flip side, I wanted to make this van to where you didn't have to go to a campground or carry around a generator. Uh, and if you've done any research, you know that that's, there's a couple of options, right? And none of them are cheap. Um, uh, and there's some out there that aren't super expensive, but you know, can work. Uh, but the main thing, and the reason why you want to watch this video is I was concerned about because I'm an animal lover. I've got three dogs and a cat. Uh, and if you've got, you know, dogs or cats or any other kind of animal that you might be traveling with you in the van, what are you gonna do when you pulled over, you're going to a park? Well, maybe not a park because you take your dogs with you, but maybe not your cat. Um, or if you had a bird, I don't know. Uh, whatever animal you love, I don't care what it is, but you know, you, you love them and you wanna make sure that they're gonna be safe in the van. So I was trying to figure that out. And then also, you know, how that correlates to air condition and being able to boondock and not have to be at a campground, you know, not have to, to stay at a campground, leave your, your truck there, because if you leave your truck there and you try to go somewhere, well then what's, you know, what's the point of having a van where you can take it anywhere, right? So, um, let's say you've pulled over and you, you know, you and your wife or just you or whatever, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, or decide to go in somewhere and have some dinner or some lunch or something. You can't take your dog or your cat or whatever with you, right? What do you do? You leave them in the van, right? Uh, now, uh, obviously you can leave the windows cracked and you can leave the max air fan on, but like right now, it's like 95 degrees here in Florida. Uh, and the temperature inside a van can get, you know, 150, 115, 120, degrees or higher even. I mean, I don't know. I've never really done all the research. I'm sure it can probably get even higher than that. Um, but it's obviously a concern. Um, I ran across in my research um, a guy, and I don't remember who it was, and I would totally give you a shout out if I remember who you were, and I can't find the video now. Um, but he had done some research on uh, electric starts. Uh, so I followed his lead and did some more research uh, using uh, the Viper uh, company, you know, like a Viper Alarms, uh, and they have automatic starts, right? So you can put one in your car, and then that way, you know, if you want to start your car up, you know, 15 minutes, you know, before you get in it, if it's cold outside or if it's hot outside, you know, start the car up, and, and then if you have your AC already cranked up all the way, you know, to cold and high, you know, when the car turns on, the AC will turn on, or, you know, if it's cold outside, the heat will turn on, right? The heat's not a big problem because we've got the diesel heater in there and you know you can set that and, and not have to worry about it um, but uh, the AC is a different situation um, so the AC for the van is meant you know to cool the van um, so uh, this solution is actually going to take care of two things one cooling the van when it's really hot outside and two protecting your animals if you're going to leave them inside the van so how this works is it's got an electric start, but it's also got a temperature control. Uh, and it's got a feature on it where you can set it up. It's called Smart Start, right? So, and you can program it however you want. Uh, I've got mine programmed right now um, to, once I've set it, it will wait one hour. And at one hour, it will check to see what the temperature is. If the temperature is above 80 degrees, it'll automatically start the van and it'll run it for 15 minutes and then turn itself off and then it'll do it again in an hour, right? Um, now here in Florida, as hot as it is, that might not be enough. You might need to set it to, to 30 minutes, you know, instead of an hour. Uh, the only problem with it is you can't set that yourself. You actually have to take it to a dealer uh, that, that installs this stuff, right? So I've been able to do everything to my van myself except for this. This is something I had to take out. And this is, I wanna give a big shout out uh, to JB and all the guys over at um, Rolling Sound here in Jacksonville, Florida. They're over on Phillips Highway. Um, they were really great about working with me. We started this project about a month ago. We put it in and brought it home and it didn't work. Uh, and then it was about a week before I could get it back to them. 
uh, and figured out that it was the wrong transponder in there. So we switched out the transponder uh, and then I was being a little impatient, didn't want to wait around for it. I thought it would work, so I just brought it home. Figured I'd test it when I got home, and, and of course, it didn't test out. It, it wouldn't start. Uh, and then, you know, it took me another week before I could get it back over to them. Uh, but I took it at the beginning of the week and left it with them for a few days. Uh, and it was really just kind of a programming thing that they had to figure out because they had never done it before. Uh, you know, next time, it won't be, it won't be near as big a deal. Uh, they'll know exactly what to do. Um, but I've already tested it out. It does work, um, you know, after it's been locked uh, and programmed, uh, an hour goes by, the van will turn on. Uh, and then I'll show you a couple other really neat features. Uh, the key, you get two key fobs, and one of the key fob has a digital display on it. You can actually check and see what the temperature is in the van. So if your animals are in there and you're, you know, close enough to the van to be able to check the temperature, it, even if it hadn't been an hour, if it's starting to get high enough, you can click the automatic start yourself and go ahead and start it, right? So the other uh, benefit to it was I was thinking, well, you know, during the day is not a big deal, but at night, you know, you want to be comfortable. Uh, and, you know, with the, with the max air fan and the, the windows crack, you know, it's going to cool off to a certain degree. But, you know, here in Florida, I mean, it's like it can be 80, 80 some degrees still at night, you know, until well into the night. Um, but that thing will kick on. So every hour, it'll check. If it gets up to 80 degrees, it'll kick on. And a minute ago, I tried it. I had all the windows up and didn't have the max fan on. Uh, so in an hour, it had raised all the way up to 114 degrees. It started, and 15 minutes later, it had reduced it by 16 degrees. Right, so it was still like 88 degrees inside. But you know, it started at 114, so it dropped it like 16 degrees in 15 minutes, only at basically like, you know, a degree a minute, which is really good. So if your starting point is lower, you know, and if it just gets up to 80, uh, you know, and kicks on, you know, it's going to bring it down to like 70 or 68, maybe even 65 degrees before it kicks off in 15 minutes. Then you got another hour, you know, of possibly, you know, the, it, it rising up uh, before, you know, it checks it again. But you also have that override. You have the key fob right next to your uh, your bed so if it kicks on for 15 minutes you know and you want to kick it on for another 15 minutes you can just hit the auto start only problem with that is, is it starts it stops the smart start you know thing so then you would have to you know restart that program whereas if you can just set it and leave it uh, it's fine the other thing that I found is whether or not the doors are locked or unlocked if you open the doors it stops the program so um, you got to keep that in mind so if you're in the van uh, you know, it's night and it's cooling, you know, it's kicking on like every hour and running for like 15 minutes. Uh, and then you decide, you know, I don't know, go outside and check your surroundings or something. As soon as you open that door, it's going to turn that program off. You just got to make sure you turn it back on when you come back in the van, you know, reset it. Uh, and of course that resets your clock. Um, so, um, we will, uh, let me wait. I got a few more minutes here. I want to catch it whenever it turns on and I'll show you a couple things, show you where the thermostat is, show you the key fob and we'll go from there. Okay guys, uh, I certainly don't want to open the door because it'll it'll cancel out the program, but I want to show you the key fob. Um, this is what it looks like. You, as you can see, it's locked. Uh, and then over in the far right, um, you'll see like a, a thermometer and then like a little hourglass that means that the smart start is on, it's set for temperature, and you know, whatever temperature you've got it set at, that auto start will start, you know, whenever it hits that, you know, that marker time. You know, I've set mine, at, like I said, I set mine at an hour. You can set it for two hours, you set it for, I think you set it for like every 15 minutes if you wanted to. Um, but uh, like I said, I set mine for an hour uh, to check every hour, turn on if it gets over uh, 80 degrees. Uh, and then it'll also turn on if it gets below 40 degrees too. So if some reason you left your van and you know, you don't want to leave your diesel heater on, but you want to make sure that, you know, nothing froze, hopefully inside the van, then you could set it that way and it would turn on and have the heat on as well. Uh, so I'm just, I, I left this window down, uh, so I could get in, um, you know, at least be able to reach into the, into the van without, uh, opening the door. Um, so that hanging right there, I will attach that to the window. I'm just waiting until I get everything squared away where I want it. And it just got double-sided tape it attaches. And that's what your key fob attaches to 
and that runs down to the transponder, uh, you know, that controls everything. And if you come over here, this little square right here is basically your little, your little thermostat. Uh, so when that timer goes off in an hour, that, that little square right there will register whatever the time is. Now, if you remember, I told you on this key fob, it'll also tell you, you know, what the temperature is. So to do that, over here on the side, see the F button, there's an F, and then the middle one there is the auto start, and then the top one is some type of auxiliary button that mine doesn't do anything for. But, um, so basically what I'm gonna do is that F button, I'm gonna click, click it once, and then click and hold. And then it'll tell you, right now it's 107 degrees in the van, oh, it did say 107 degrees. Let's do it again. Sorry. I'm trying to hold this phone and do it at the same time. There we go. Yep, 107 degrees inside the van. So if you're standing, you know, if you're out at the uh, restaurant or somewhere, uh, you know, and it's been 30 or 45 minutes and you're concerned that, you know, it's super hot outside and you don't want to wait for an hour for the automatic start to start, you can check and see what the temperature is. And then, then you would just basically, this um, middle button right here, which is your auto start button, um, you would just click that and it would automatically start the, the van at that point in time. So if you're concerned about your animals, uh, you could do that. Um, but anyways, um, I didn't, I set a timer with Siri, but she didn't listen to me. So I know it's coming up soon. Uh, may have to cut some of the dull footage out. Uh, but as soon as this thing gets ready to start, um, hopefully, you know, we'll catch it in the act. The other thing I wanted to let you know too, uh, I forgot to say is I remember uh, when I did my first test, the actual key fob here will start beeping uh, right before it starts. It means that the one hour timer is run up. Uh, so that'll give us a little indication once this thing starts beeping then the van should start up right after that and the air see the AC you know will turn on so let me get a while we're, while we're waiting let me get a little see if I can reach over there far enough uh, and show you what I've got the AC and everything set to um, so basically I've got the AC set and I've got the fan I got the AC set to cold and I've got the fan you know turned all the way over to max uh, and like I said, I left both these two front um, windows down because if I was going to leave my animals in here, I would probably put my vents uh, in the windows uh, and leave the max uh, air fan on. And then I'm planning on putting uh, two vents in the back too, as well, but I don't have those in yet. Uh, but a lot of you guys will have, you know, windows that, um, you know, have a slider or some kind of tilt up that you can get, you know, air inside the van. Uh, so depending on what your setup is, uh, you can do that, uh, and I think, you know, keep that temperature, you know, lower than, than, than normal. Like I said, a minute ago when I did this, it got up to about 1,415 um, with the windows all up, and now with the windows down, it's only at 107, which isn't a huge difference, but, you know, 7 or 8 degrees is, is a big deal because whenever you, you figure if you take 7 or 8 degrees off the bottom, it, it got to, you know, it got it down to like 89, 88 degrees, you take another, you know, seven to seven or eight degrees off of that, it gets down to 80 degrees, which is very, you know, very bearable. Okay, guys, here we go. Just give me the signal that it's getting ready to start. There, the engine just started. You can hear the radio playing. And I got cold air coming out of the, uh, the vents, which is nice. Uh, and it, another thing that's really nice on this thing too, it gives you a countdown, so it tells you Uh, 
other thing you want to keep in mind too is that I've got both the front windows open. So there it goes. It actually turned itself off. It actually locked the doors and then relocked them again. It's kind of interesting. Um, but if you look, you can see that the thermostat and the little start thing is still activated. So uh, this will continue to recycle every hour. Let's check and see what the temperature is. Got it down to 95 degrees. Um, actually, did better with the windows up because you know all the air conditioned vents are here in the front. So with the windows down, a lot of air escapes out of the window here rather than staying in the fan um, and probably getting sucked out, you know, through the thing. But let me check and see uh, what the um, the other thermostat. Is. Okay, guys, uh, so I'll post the uh, photo that I've got from the uh, Weber um, temperature probe uh, on what the finishing temperature was when the van turned off after running for 15 minutes. I think it was 80 or 81 degrees. I'm not sure, but it should be right here. You can take a look at it. Um, so the van actually cooled down 20 degrees um, in the 15 minutes, and that was with the front windows open and the max air fan on. So some of that cool air that was coming out of the vents was escaping there instead of actually cooling off the van. Uh, but you know, the drawback or the, the, the other side of that is, is that the previous time I had the windows up and the fan off and it got a lot hotter in there as well. Uh, so the starting temperature was higher. Um, I think there's a, uh, probably a way to um, turn some vents on in the back of the van so you're pulling air in and up and out of the max air fan so that way when the cold air is coming into the front of the van it's not immediately going out the windows um, i just haven't put in rear vents in yet i've only got the rear the vents in for the uh, windows i've got the ones that, that go into the window that you slide up and it kind of locks in place anyways so uh i've been really excited to get this video together um it's been coming for about a month. I've just been tinkering around with it and, and wanted to make sure that I had it exactly right before I filmed it. Um, but if you're an animal lover, I think it's very important uh, that you watch this video and maybe take a look at this product because I think it's a way that you could, if you're traveling with animals, whether it be dogs, cats, or whatever, uh, and you need to leave them in the van, whether it be to go to the grocery store, get something to eat, whatever, um, you know, you feel like you can leave them in there and, and be able to monitor what the temperature is through the fob uh, and also know that, you know, that the van's gonna kick on, you know, at whatever time you decide to, to do it. Now, I did mine in an hour and run for 15 minutes. You could do it every 30 minutes, you know, and run for 15 minutes, or you could do it every two hours and run for, you know, an hour. I, I, don't, it does, I don't think it really matters. Uh, but whatever you set it at, that's what it's gonna do. Um, so I think it's a nice feature. Um, it, it wasn't super expensive, especially if you start thinking about, you know, adding air condition to a van, you know, the cost of that and everything that goes along with it. I mean, you can't just add an AC unit to the roof of a van and expect, you know, two small, you know, batteries and a couple solar panels to run that thing for long term. Um, it will run it for a certain amount of time. Uh, of course, then you gotta have probably a little bit better, a bigger inverter as well. So it's just not practical, you know, you'd have to have uh, solar panels, you know, covering your entire roof and, you know, three or four batteries bank, bank back there um, just to run AC uh, along with the, co the cost of all that. Now there's some other options as far as, you know, mini splits and whatever, and, you know, that's really a kind of a completely different uh, conversation, you know, because then we're really talking more about what's the best AC, you know, for a van. But um, my idea was more like, how can I make my van, um, you know, friendlier for animals and safer for animals? And I think that's really the main key that I was shooting for. Uh, but then also a way to cool off the van. So if you're spending the night in it, you know, once the sun goes down and it's cooled off some and you can cool it off, you know, ahead of time, you know, start the engine, get that temperature down, you know, below 70 degrees, turn off the car, hit that smart start, 
uh, and go to sleep. And then if, you know, between the, the max air fan and the vents, you know, your, your van's staying fairly cool. But if it does raise up above, you know, a certain temperature, you know, that smart start will kick on, you know, and the van will run for, you know, whatever time you've set it for, 15 minutes, uh, and cool the van off. Uh, you know, and that way, you're not having to carry a generator, you know, to worry about, you know, plugging into a campground, you know, you're not having to worry about, you know, having a bunch of solar panels on your roof and two or three times more battery powers, batteries that, you know, than you necessarily need other than for AC. Um, so I think it's a good solution. Um, I'm up for, you know, debate over it. Uh, I'm not saying that this is the perfect solution, but it's something that I found that I hadn't seen a lot of other people do. Uh, and like I said, if you have animals, I think it really answers, you know, that, that number one question, how do I keep my animals safe in the van while I'm traveling? So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you are subscribing and you want to keep uh, track of it, make sure you hit the bell for me. Uh, and it'll notify you every time we put one of these videos together. Uh, but um, we'll be back soon with something new. Uh, stay tuned.